also tonight, as Mel Gibson confronts the terrors of crop circles in Signs, his latest cinema release. We meet the scientists who say mysterious forces are at work right here in our own crop circle hotspot. When we do the tests, we'll know for certain whether it's man-made or not, but a lot of the indications from the ground are that this is a genuine crop circle. There you go, Noddy's Bell. What do you think? You know, the south of England is pretty much a hot spot when it comes to corn circles. And whilst most of us think they're fakes, there's a body of people out there, including a few serious academics, that believe that not all of them are fabricated by human hand. Tonight, we're giving one of their most ardent enthusiasts, Lucy Pringle from Petersfield, the opportunity to state her case. But be careful. You're about to be sucked into a vortex of corn circlery centred somewhere on Stonehenge. Could be weird. In 1991, two Hampshire pensioners admitted that for 20 years they'd been responsible for a series of crop circles that amazed southern England. And they told the world how to do it. But others remain adamant that some circles are the real thing. We're standing in this amazing formation, which is just west of Winchester. It's at a place called Crabwood, and it's really an astounding formation. It appeared on the night of Thursday, the 16th of August. It depicts the head of an extraterrestrial. The really fascinating part of this is the decoded message, the message which is present inside the circle that we are standing in now. Uh, if you think these tufts of wheat actually contain a message, now what we have in the formation here is a whole lot of tufts which are precise binary the universal language that is used when we try and communicate with other intelligences is binary. This message says, beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises. Much pain, but still time. And then there was a damaged word. There is good out there. We oppose deception. Conduit closing, and then bell sound. And then in the center, there is another word and that would seem to be believed. Many people think that all these formations are man-made, um, and it's only by doing scientific research that we can establish between the genuine and, and, and the man-made ones. This is a very exciting day. It's taken eight months to prepare. I've gathered together a whole lot of scientists. We are going to do control tests uh, using all different sorts of disciplines to try and find out what's happening in this phenomenon. Uh, we're all gathered together in the barn here, and we'll do the control tests here, and we will then uh, go into the fields later on and do more tests, we'll repeat the same tests. For 11 years, I've been measuring brain activities, and it's absolutely striking that there's a fantastic pull to the right cortex of the brain, the right side of the brain. Oh, that was lovely. Look at that. Oh, that was beautiful. When people go into genuine crop circles, this is the emotional side of the brain, the emotional, intuitive, uh, imaginative, creative side. And men have found a terrific problem with this because certainly in England, you know, stiff upper lip and everything, and for them to suddenly burst into tears and disintegrate and have these overwhelming emotions can be profoundly disturbing to them. To be told I've got a very balanced brainwaves is the best chat up line. <laughs> Over the years, I've been looking into the effects of electromagnetic fields on living systems which means what happens to people and animals when they go into circles, and what happens to inanimate objects such as tape recorders, camcorders, um, mobile telephones. 
this is such ancient countryside. You get these wonderful folds and dips in the hills, and you really feel as though you're walking in the footsteps of your Neolithic ancestors, yeah. some yeah. magical time in the, in the distant, distant past. What I would say, just a, a word of warning, is that if anybody's pregnant or thinking of becoming pregnant, I would recommend that you don't go in. Here we are. It's not worth taking the risk because we really don't know what's happening. You see the layer of the crop? It's all going clockwise. And look how beautifully it's laid. You get an almost a sort of ripple effect here. Now, what I, what I do recommend is that you walk with the, walk flow, with the flow, flow yeah. of the crop. Yeah. Because that, that's the only time that you can feel nauseous if you, yes. if you walk against the flow of the crop. So let us go round and we'll find the centre. Oh, come along in, Annie. It's so, it's so lovely, isn't it? That's um, Adam's grave. You see the one with the little nipple on top? The hill with the sort of breast with the, with the nipple on top. That is absolutely magnificent. You see it from a totally different perspective when you see it from the air. From the ground, you know, you just see the, the lay of the crop. When you get up in the air, it's absolutely magnificent. You see it, oh, it's fantastic. You see it in all its sort of different symbology, the way it's constructed. It has a totally different meaning to it when you see it from the air. Fantastic. A lot of the indications from the ground are that this is a genuine crop circle. Uh, the geometry, the precision of the lay, and it looks very good at the moment, but we'll know for certain when we get the scientific results. I can only point to the various features which I think are uh, impossible or almost impossible for people to make. Yes. Uh, and we were talking about one just now where uh, a few circles, the, the crop has been bent like that. Yes, yes, about yeah. two. But yeah. it's all the way down, isn't it? And, and so no, no way can any way to do the Due to circumstances entirely beyond our control, some of the scientists mysteriously disappeared, and we never did find out what happened to that lady with the electrodes on her head. But we've decided to conduct a few tests of our own. It's a bit late in the day, but they're hard at it. I think it's about 20, 20 degrees that way. Don't you? Have a look. And you see the lady with the clipboard? That's my mum. She's not a mad scientist. Well, she's not a scientist anyway, and she's helping us out in next week's programme as well. So until then, Good night. If you'd like to find out more about crop circles and win tickets to see the Mel Gibson film, log on to our website, www.bbc.co.uk slash inside out. We're on the trail.